Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. A couple of weeks ago, another new show started up. Uh, this was Supergirl on CBS. Now, because it's on CBS, that means it's a little tricky for me to watch, since my antenna doesn't pick up CBS very well, and we all know I'm now a little averse to watching stuff in real time. And CBS doesn't participate in Hulu, which means I can't just add it to my list there and catch new episodes the day after they air. But CBS did put the first episode of Supergirl up on Amazon for free, uh, so I watched it there, um, and it took me a little. It took me a little while to get around to it because of Halloween and everything. So the second episode has already aired earlier this week, and I just watched the the, the pilot. Now for a pilot, it's pretty solid. Uh, it it manages to avoid uh, dwelling on a lot of the things that people were worried about it. It being too girly. Uh, meaning focusing on the relationship drama and the self-doubt and everything like that that has, for some reason, come to define chick flicks and uh, women's shows on TV. Uh, I've seen plenty of shows that are technically women's shows that tell darn good stories with really solid characters, and then I've seen even more that just rely on tired tropes that do nothing but reinforce negative stereotypes. The good news is Supergirl is one of the ones that doesn't do that. It passes through that really quickly in the first 15-20 uh, minutes of the show. A and so we get that out of the way and now we can have a show with good solid characters that, that talk about the real issues going on in the show, the stuff facing the world with the introduction of people with superpowers, and some pretty solid action, which was very nice to see, because uh, that was one of the things that wasn't featured a lot in the uh, promo stuff, was how much action there was going to be. And the, uh, the pilot pretty much nails it with action. There's uh, the, the scene that everyone saw in the uh, in the previews of her saving the plane as it's crashing, which was awesome and very well done. Uh, and then there's a, a couple of other fight sequences against uh, villains in the uh, in the show. Uh, it does get a little needly every now and then uh, when it comes to being uh, when it comes to interaction between female characters and male characters. Uh, so far, there's been a couple of pretty heavy-handed male uh, characters that are straight-up misogynist, which makes sense uh, in the context of the story, but if it turns out to happen with every male character who's not Jimmy Olsen, uh, there may be an issue with that. But in the pilot, it all works. It makes sense. It sets up some great interactions and tension among characters. Uh, the cast is really solid. I'm very happy with what I saw from them. Uh, we've, we've even got some nods back to uh, old Super Family franchises. Uh, Dean Cain is, uh, shows up in the show, as does Helen Slater, who played Supergirl back in the uh, movie that we should probably not pay a whole lot of attention to. This is another DC Comics show uh, on another network that isn't at all connected in any way, shape, or form to their movie franchises or any of their other shows. Supergirl is on CBS, Gotham is on Fox, Arrow and Flash and soon Legends of Tomorrow are all on the CW, uh, and Constantine was on uh, NBC. So we've got all of these shows spread out everywhere, and it's only the ones on the CW, uh, soon to also have a Constantine crossover, but since his show is dead, that doesn't quite count now, does it? Uh, all in separate universes, and none of them are connected to movie franchises. That strikes me as kind of silly. 
Marvel has been doing a great job of connecting all their stuff together. It gives them a nice playground where they can do different things in different segments of that playground. You can do your really dark and gritty on Netflix, which they completely nailed with, with Daredevil and Jessica Jones looks like it's going to be just as good. You can do your huge spectacles in your cinematic stuff like Avengers and Thor and everything that's going to be coming up there. And you can do somewhere in between on your regular network show, which is what they're doing on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which has gotten leaps and bounds better than it was when it started. And it's tying in nicely among everything else. But DC has all of these little silos that don't interact except on the CW, which is the only network with multiple DC shows. And it's working really, really well on the CW. So I'm a little sad that Supergirl can't have a crossover somewhere, can't have that extra added support of other successful properties. Not that Man of Steel, in my book, is a really successful property, but it would be really nice if you didn't have to completely avoid Superman, more or less, being in Supergirl. They made some mention to him, there's a silhouette of him, but it is obviously not the same world as Man of Steel. So that that's what I consider a downside, uh, is the lack of interconnection and that lack of franchise support. We'll see how it plays. Uh, from what I understand, the first episode did really well. Second episode, I've heard good things about. I'm not sure if I'm curious enough or into it enough uh, to pay to see the whole season. Uh, and, and no, I'm not going to torrent it. Because if it's good, I want them to have the numbers of actual people watching it and profit from it. Uh, I may try to check it out on the CBS website, which I haven't had great luck with in the past. But I'll see if they fix the problems that I had there. I am not uh, ready yet to buy the entire uh, season-long subscription on, uh, on Amazon like I do for some other shows. So I'll check out the second episode, uh, and then we'll see how I feel about it in the long run. Have you seen Supergirl? If you have, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, it felt to me like a much more true to the feel of Superman story and presentation than Man of Steel did. Uh, so that's a good thing for me. Maybe that doesn't work for you. Let me know. We'll talk about it. If you like what I have to say, uh, give me a thumbs up uh, right down there. If uh, you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified of uh, when I put these things out. Still going to be daily for another bunch of days uh, right up through the end of the year. And if you know anyone uh, who's been watching the, the Supergirl or has any opinions on any of this comic book stuff, uh, share this with them so we can bring them into the discussion. I'm Kier, that's it for today, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.